let's have a session on extrapolation. So when we have marketing data, we need to interpret this marketing data. And we might use correlation, we might use confidence intervals, or we might use extrapolation, which is what we're going to look at here. So extrapolation is simply using historical trends, past trends, to help forecast future trends. So there's two types of, or examples of extrapolation here. Firstly, we've got this chart, so we've got years and profit. It is 2020, and we have the data for 2018, 2019, and for 2020 for the profits. And we've put those in those black dots there. We've charted them up, and we've put a line of best fit through in blue. Now, using extrapolation, we can see there is kind of growth on year on year in profit. So maybe that would continue in the future. And we would do our line of best fit with our um, red line and then put the green marks in and that shows what the future trends could be. That's just a prediction, it's a forecast. That's one way of doing extrapolation. Another way is the example over there where you are a business and your sales have increased 10% year on year for several years. And we can see in 2017, they were 100 million, and then they increased by 10% to 110, 2018, 2019 to 121 million, and in 2020 to 133.1 million. So they're increasing by 10% each year. So then it might be that you think, well, they will increase by 10% again this year. And if they did so, then in 2021, they would be 146.41 million. So you just use an extrapolation there to predict the future using historical trends. Now, the general pros of extrapolation, what was a useful method to help predict the future, as we've seen? Um, and it's going to be more effective if you have more years of data and also the trend itself is stable and consistent. So there's an example of a perfectly stable and consistent trend. So you may well be prudent in your decision making to use extrapolation and see that in 2021, your sales would increase to 136 million. Other things to think about, it clearly aids decision making so you can predict what you may need to do in the future because if your sales are increasing by 10%, then your production may need to increase by 10%. So it can help give other departments ideas. So you can use it to aid your decision making. However, there's always limitations and the cons here is you must be thinking about those external factors when you're doing extrapolations because other things could happen that could ruin this trend. You could be thinking about rivals. Rivals could be entering the market or they could be leaving the market. Maybe the trend is actually even steeper. Also, the economy. The economy could be in a business cycle. It could be a boom. It could be a recession. There could be a health crisis. And any form of uncertainty can also exist. And also fashions and fads can change. It could be that actually this product here, yes, the profits are going up each year, but if we were to chart this back against the product life cycle, we'd see that now it looks like we're starting to enter the maturity stage or even the decline stage. And we would actually predict that there's going to be a, a more of a flatter curve in the future in terms of those profits or in this case, in terms of those sales. So I hope that helps with extrapolation and I'll see you at the next sesh.